live from Lexington, our home, your news. This is Fox 56 News at 1030. With supply chain shortages and price increases, we wondered if area food banks and donation centers would see a decrease in donations. Fox 56's Tyler Melito joins us now. And Tyler, what did you learn? Marvin and Amani, good evening. With inflation hitting all of us, are the organizations that fill the gaps to help those in need being forgotten? We found this economy is having an impact, but maybe not how you would think. We haven't seen our donations um, go down. We've seen it be steady or even go up in some cases. I will um, say though that they've become extremely important to us because now our budgets are much tighter. Our dollar doesn't go as far on food, on gas, um, and it's hard to find things. Because money donations don't go as far as they used to, organizations like the Hope Center are not always able to provide the same help to their clients. We make do with what we have, certainly, um, but it means that where a meal may have been a regular size portion or even a generous portion in the past is a much more conservative portion now because we simply have to um, be careful with our food budget um, to a degree that we haven't had to in the past. So we will accept any food donations and do our best to make use of that and steward it well so that we can feed our clients out of our three different cafeterias each and every day. Food items help a lot. But that is not the only item that can make an impact. Especially as um, we're dealing with some pretty intense heat right now, we are in dire need of bottled waters. We go through a lot more of them when it's hot outside, and that's something that generally the community is donating to us. We distribute socks, clothing, backpacks, um, uh, travel hygiene items. Those are really important to us. Vogel told me that the Hope Center serves anywhere between five and 600 people every day, so any form of donation can go a long way. So if you are interested in donating for more information, you can find that information inside this story on our website at fox56news.com. I'm Tyler Melito, Fox 56 News. Thank you, Tyler.